Well, federal offices are closed today in observance of the Juneteenth holiday. President Biden signed legislation last year officially making Juneteenth the newest federal holiday in nearly 40 years. Today marks the first time Juneteenth is being widely observed with closures of federal agencies, banks, schools, and more. And while the official holiday was yesterday, the closures are happening today. Last year, Juneteenth had became a federal holiday just two days earlier. So the short notice meant many organizations didn't have time to prepare for it. Yeah, but this year, today, U.S. post offices are closed. The New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ don't have active trading hours, and most federal offices and schools are shut down. So is the Federal Reserve, along with most banks. The holiday commemorates when Union Army General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas, to announce enslaved people had been liberated. That was two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation. And NBC's Chris Pallone is on Capitol Hill, where Capitol Hill, excuse me, across the country, celebrations have been taking place throughout the weekend. While many Americans have celebrated Juneteenth for decades and now it's a federal holiday, nearly half the states across the country have not made it a paid state holiday. Across the country, Juneteenth celebrations kicked into high gear over the weekend, commemorating the day in 1865 when enslaved people in Galveston, Texas, learned they were free, two and a half years after President Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. The date has been observed by many for decades, but it didn't become a federal holiday until last year with a stroke of President Biden's pen. We can't rest till the promise of equality is fulfilled for every one of us in every corner of this nation. That, to me, is the meaning of Juneteenth. That's what it's about. In Fort Worth, Texas, Dr. Opal Lee led a two-and-a-half-mile walk to start the Juneteenth celebration there. She's known as the grandmother of Juneteenth, a leading advocate for making Juneteenth a federal holiday. In Wisconsin, the city of Stevens Point marked the holiday for the first time with a festival. important for me um, and other folks to connect with folks in the community and understand that we're here. In Buffalo, New York, site of one of the nation's largest Juneteenth festivals, the state's governor paused to remember the victims of last month's racist attack at a crowded grocery store. In Washington, the National Archives is displaying the original Emancipation Proclamation alongside the Juneteenth Order, while visitors to the National Museum of African American History and Culture find educational programs and exhibits marking the holiday. I hope people understand not only the importance of Juneteenth to African American culture, but also its relevance to all of American culture and history. Juneteenth, a day to reflect, remember, and to celebrate. In a statement, President Biden said great nations don't ignore their most painful moments. Instead, they confront them to grow stronger. In Washington, Chris Pallone, now back to you.